Yeah, this is uh, JD79 here. I'm, I'm just going to be doing a little update what's been going on lately here. Um, okay, first of all, um, uh, yeah, as you may notice a couple days ago, I, I removed the video of um, the PlayStation Move um, review, my reaction, um, and, and, so, yeah, and yes, I removed that video because, you know, quite frankly, um, I know it's going to be getting some people upset about this, but, you know, um, the thing of it is, is that they're going to have to tell you one thing here, that um, the PlayStation Move review, I'm gonna, uh, the PlayStation Move review re reaction, I was trying to be able to think about his weak, his uh, things, because certainly it is a terrible review by, um, um, by Classic Game Room's um, GT, and, um, and the thing I want to try to point out is that, um, I mean, he just didn't, um, didn't put in the details. There's all the move works and like this, and he just flanks in it around over here. That's, I mean, that's just basically, um, what all these, um, that's basically summed up the review is that 95% of the time he says meaningless stuff, um, and I was thinking that, oh, it's this move, or, uh, you know, it's this move or flashlight at the beginning of the game. I mean, it's, that's what he's done. I mean, all he says is this move works. He didn't even give me a specific about the strength and the weaknesses here. And um, the couple of the quotes is just outrageous, ob obscure quotes here, such as, um, the move or the Wii, let's try the Genesis controller. <sighs> well, I say I'll just, you know, compare that with the PlayStation DualShock 3 controller. Yeah, you don't have to fling that around, and that's wireless as well. Oh, God. But anyway, um, I'm probably going to be trying again to see him about this, but because this guy, you know, uh, all I have to say, his videos suck. And, um, Tom Doug did a good job. And, and, and as a matter of fact, um, as I can say, Tom Doug really just did a, um, uh, one of the jobs, but as a matter of fact, after um, watching that video, the PlayStation Move review, I really couldn't have to agree with Tom Thugs um, and his Bridge Race for Sevens um, video um, bashing him. Um, he's just a lousy reviewer. And um, I might make a couple of separate reviews, one for the PlayStation 9, because it's not just a sensor, it's another um, equipment. You can actually talk, chat online with it, and it could be, if, with the software updates, I mean, the PlayStation I can rival the Kinect, um, as well as voice commands, um, navigating for your, um, cross-media bar for voice commands with the PlayStation I say, PlayStation, music, play music, or PlayStation, start game, and, um, the PlayStation I, um, translates that, um, to the cell processor and things like, like that. But I do agree, the PlayStation I is going to need to have an update, and, um, Sony is working on a new PlayStation I, and, um, I had to tape the, I did have to tape the controller thing down, but I do agree with him, but, you know, seriously, I mean, that could be done in a separate review, and, um, that's why I have to be able to do it right here, and, uh, that's just sums up with, um, PlayStation Moves. As far as my iPod, yes, I got, um, I sent it back to store, and Apple actually replaced it for free. Um, they were going to charge me 59 bucks for it, and, um, but it could be taking like five business days. Unfortunately, uh, I said to them I'm not going to be here because I'm going to be in Indianapolis, but, um, then they, uh, came around and, um, swap it out for a free newer version model here. And they gave me a newer version model, but the thing is, it has the same length of hard drive, and, um, therefore I can fit just as much stuff as my uh, original hard drive, which, um, only th that's the only thing that matters up here. And the people are saying, um, did I protect my old iPod? Yes, I did. I actually use this, um, one here. It's pretty dirty right now, and, um, the thing is, my new iPod will not fit into this one because it was just too small, so I'm just going to be, that's why it's um, over here. But this is what I use to protect my old iPod. But even that is just still broken. It has dead screen marks, and it was really I'm dying here. And um, that's as far as my iPod is concerned. So now on my fourth iPod, hopefully this will last me a little longer. I might get an iPhone later on um, because iPhone's going for rise, and I'm a rising customer. And um, we're going to be getting an iPhone later on here. But there's another piece of problems here. My Garmin, actually I have a Garmin GPS. That got recalled because of a battery-operated failure. Had to drain down the battery and um, send it to Garmin um, to get it replaced here. So... Well, it's anyway, it's being recalled anyway, so they're replacing it for free. 
But man, that's just the um, inconvenience here. But I'm going to be away anyway. And lastly, um, over the last couple of um, weeks here, I got a couple new games here. Castlevania, Lord of Shadows, I might play that on Minneapolis. Um, or that I might play uh, my Resident Evil game with the move. And uh, it's going to be in way uh, here. But I got Castlevania, Lord of Shadow. It doesn't work with the move, which is a bummer. Um, because I hope you can use the whip. You can use the, it, the, you can use the move with a whip or something like that. But certainly, I don't know why they lift compatibility out the door. Stupid Konami. I mean, the move can be used as a whip, and you can just use a navigation control to add, you know, run around. I mean, that could be really good Castlevania there. I got a Kirby's Epic Yarn. I played it. Really good game. Um, creative. Um, it's really nice to see Kirby back to the lineup after a deluge of shovelware in the Wii. And Nintendo's finally... And I heard that Nintendo is finally doing something about the shovelware. They're... Um, Making the seal of quality sense. Hey, we're serious. We don't want shovelware on the machine. Right there. But they're right now up in the um, thing here. Hopefully they'll weed out the shovelware. Um, yeah. The move serves as a room that says, please, no more shovelware on the thing here. But Kirby's Epic Yarn. Um, it's a pretty good game thus far. Um, it plays a little differently, but I mean, it's a pretty good um, game and a nice return. Um, to this one, and also got Modern Warfare 2. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd probably just on the band. I'd probably just go on the bandwagon like that to here. Caladini made in Warfare 2, much like a lot of other people have here. I tell you, man, maybe I'll play this one when I'm in Indianapolis as well. Um, as well as um, play a little bit of um. Resident Evil and um, Sports Champions and Final Fantasy 13. So um, I can only bring in a limited amount of games because I have a um, limited amount of space in my suitcase um, to go to Indianapolis. Um, yeah. But that's all the updates for you. New games. Not necessarily new, I bought the, bought the youth one in its original thing here. Got Kirby's Epic Garn in Castlevania. Um, my new iPod, fourth thing. I hope this one lasts. Give me an iPod that works. And yes, Jack the Bomb. I mean, you have problems with Mac Pro, Black MacBook Pro. I might not have problems yet on my PS3, but I'm not having any luck with these iPods. They break because it goes dead. Batteries don't charge. The screen goes dead. Has dead pixels on it. Ugh. Apple. I mean, even though it's free, I mean, I want one that works. I mean, that's what really matters. And um, that's all I have to say about the iPod. And, um, yep. And, um, and by the way, I'm going to be away for a week in Indianapolis. I still make some video. I might still make some videos there um, in Indianapolis because my grandfather has my has a computer. He's older than mine. Um, and has different software, but I'll do my best to make some videos like this here. And um, well, it's me. It's it. And going to Indianapolis for a week, then Florida for a week, and then um, then it's November already. More videos. Thanksgiving, Christmas, but, yeah, and, um, and, uh, and, my, and a little thing to Tom Duck here, um, you love to do commentaries, I'd love you to do the commentary about the, um, Classic Game Room's PlayStation Move review, because it is certainly the worst review, I mean, I've ever seen. And many, many people are probably going to be, um, there were some hateful comments, but I just simply, ugh. And, uh, yeah, I really do love to see a commentary from, um, Tom Doug about the, um, PlayStation Move reviews. Um, he actually made two videos of the PlayStation Move reviews. 
and um, love to see a commentary on um, his um, classic games review. But that's it, and uh, JD out.